in the building. How are you, man? Welcome. Today I want to just see. Alright, so introduce yourself to the folks, man. You don't know this is D A V I L L E, and I'm in A K A D T, none other than David, you know, representing straight. Man. ATL Mad Hat. Welcome, man. Welcome, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, not literally to you. <laughs> yeah, it's 100 degrees. <laughs> Tell you. <laughs> well, you're coming from New York City, man. New York is hot as well. Yeah, New York, I think about. Boy, I may tell him, you know, Atlanta at least kind of look a bit different still yeah. right now. Cause I left New York, I left in a boat. You know, look a bit in the 90s. Mm -hmm. You know, so I really that at today in New York. <laughs> you feel me? Mm. Got you, man. So you, you're in Atlanta to promote your new single. Yeah. Your new album coming out. What's the name of the new single? Well, the name of the new single right now is a thing called Wine, You Are Wine, you know? Mm -hmm. You don't know, it's a thing for the ladies that know so right now. You know, you got to have a slippery waistline, especially in this time, you know? Summertime and thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The girl them want something to broke up and get mad pants, so this is it. And you know, so when the girl them are down, so they want them to move them furniture and them things and spread out. You see, man. Well, you know what? Let's go back a little bit you know, yeah. to your last album. Yeah. You know, I, I, we were just talking and I was saying, you know, there's such so many singles that I felt was on that album. And you were saying you only released a few because why? Yeah, because the thing is, it's my thing now. I wanted the album to have, I think they call them, um, you know, um, Substance, um, substance, right? Yeah, substance. Where, you know, people buy the album, and them feel say, okay, yeah, this is value for my money. Mm -hmm. I never want to get them a collection of David. You feel me? Gotcha. I give them an album. Them have a couple things on it where they come off a single, right. and then them have something on the album where they make the album have value. So if they want a particular song, mm -hmm. they have to go buy the album. Mm -hmm. You see me? That's the way me know how it used to be done back in the days. I don't know where I go and know with some, people, with some other man thing, but that's right, my thing. Right, you see me? Right. Mm. Okay, now tell us your background. You know, you, you, you come from a musical background, a musical yeah. family. Yeah, man. Now, who was your father? Yeah, well, I don't know Jack Thomas. From a day, I can never tap a boogie down. I want Jack Thomas, I did you dance. Show the move, show the move. You know what I mean? And punk that, punk that. Right, right. You know what I mean? So, you know, born up and born and growing up, house and music, you know, the old man, you know. Um, I guess you can say the chip never fall too far from the block, you know? Exactly. Yeah, man. And then you started out with the group ARP. Yeah, definitely. ARP, you don't know. Straight out of high school, you know. We just started a local group and thing just for have a look of fun and enjoyment and thing and next thing you know we are record beside some major players in the business. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the thing that on the next level after a while, you know? One of, one yeah. of my favorite ARP tracks was All My Life. All my life. That track was unbelievable. May I tell you. May I tell you it's <laughs> murder. And you gotta know music because a lot of folks, you know, may not may not even know what I'm talking about. But all my yeah. life was done by Casey and Jojo. Casey and Jojo. Jojo. I wanna tell you say. You know, so my idea that I mean yeah. to sing back for AIP to sing back over the song back in them times. Wow. And I'm a come up, come up um Florida and hear the song I play on the radio. I say, yo, that song I got mash up the places and I will go back to Jamaica and say, yo, I have to do that song back over the radio for the reggae fans. Yeah. And that was it, you know? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Diva, we got folks up in Maryland. Diva. Uh, Folks all over the world in in Canada in uh, London listening to you. Yeah, well. London. Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii. So yeah. you got all the people up in London right now listening. You know, Canada, mad. You see me as that. Which place again? Diva. Maryland, Maryland. Maryland. Yeah, Maryland. Yeah, Maryland. Yeah. Maryland. One of the places Maryland. you're real big is Japan. Yeah. Man, I, I saw Ichima, some pictures. Yeah. I saw some pictures, and the, mm. the type of crowds that come to see you in Japan is. Rival only by the Michael Jacksons and those type of people. You know, how, how do you how do you how do you feel? You know, performing in front of those type of people. May I tell you this? It's so when people come over to come see you, and you know, say you them come for see, mm -hmm. it draw a different energy out of you as an artist. More time, just the fact that you know that you're that appreciated, it does make you want to deliver. He's a man, that is what devil is. I mean, I deliver, I try to deliver at all times. I never shall change none of, none of my performances, none of my supporters. You know what I mean? But Japan is just crazy. He's a man, I said, I've been trying my crazy love over the years. Absolutely. You know, and Absolutely. And that, I have to say this, is my first trip. When I made my first trip to Japan, that is what kind of give me an extra push for continuing doing music because at one point I felt like, yo, Nothing was happening and I felt like I needed to change course mm -hmm. and find something different and do. Yeah, man, may I tell you, man, 
But they have Jamaica and nothing now go on. They write them when they're dead for you, hungry. Let me tell you this. Don't look for music and feel like say, it's just a better rose. Yeah. But can I tell you, as an artist, there's no guarantees. Yeah. Remember, when you have a 9 to 5 where you work for the big man, sure. you're guaranteed a paycheck sure. Sure. every week and sure. every month and sure. every fortnight. When you have the music, there's no guarantee, my boss. Because I hold it for them out there. And some man will be longer than me and still not getting a break. You see me, I say, so when you get a break and you have got you, you have to give thanks. You see me, I say, like yeah, you've, 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 seen, you've seen a lot in music. Yeah, man. Right? I want it, man. From back then to now. Yeah. What are the changes you've seen, positive or negative, in music? I want it, I, it's both positive things and negative things. And right now it seems as if the negative are all the way to positive. Right. Right. To the point where you know our music now will come from our land of little Jamaica. Is in a detrimental stage. You see me, I say, I remember one time when people... When Jamaican artists get signed by major labels, mm -hmm. left, right, and center, mm -hmm. they don't even see them things that go on no more. Mm -hmm. Even the man are the top man them right now, in a reggae and dancer, still don't have a label to support them. You see me, I say, and if we don't put the thing on that level there, then we just have to be in a small league same way. You understand? Because let's face the facts. VP is not it. Not for me. Now speaking of VP, <laughs> you know, we, I mean, big up Christian. You know, I mean, Christian, <laughs> good, good, you. We know there have been some issues with you and VP, and you're no longer with VP. I'm no longer with VP, right? And that's my choice. Okay. You feel me? Because we just weren't seeing eye to eye in terms of where I wanted to be in terms of my music. Gotcha. You feel me? I said, yeah, you know, gotcha. respect the VP. They're doing their thing. I'm gonna knock them because I feel them thing. I feel them thing. Yeah, can't knock a man. Feel the right. same thing. Right. But for them thing or them to them thing, it's not only one my thing to be done. You now, feel me? Now, I heard there was a little thing that went on last year at, I think it was Sumfest. Mm. Uh, care to talk about that? <laughs> right now, it's like this. As an artist, my mother said this and said it's clear. As an artist, you have to understand, say, it's not everybody is going to be wishing you good mm -hmm. and want to see good things happen for you. Especially when you're in the same genre, the same league, and everything when you're in competition. Right. Some people can't take competition, so they find other ways and means to try and outdo you. And right. some of them play dirty. Right. I don't call the name, but I know who you are. Some artists play dirty on the thing, on some fest, try to sabotage my thing. Right. You know what I mean? And I don't care, I say it like it is. Is a man said, and I have no apology to nobody. I did what I felt like I had to. I had to express express the fact that I was disgusted that mm -hmm. that even took place. And I felt like people in high places who was a part of that organization had something to do with that. But right now, that's like dirt under the rug. Because I've been past that. Because I remember this. There are other shows out there. Right. And there are other times, you know what I mean, for David. To go out there and represent CMA. So, the look at one incident, now I'm going to put no, no shut up on the team. My boat still, my ship still a sail, see, and the wind still a blow strong, same way. You know, my, my sail, same way, so my thing still balance. Yeah? I've been fighting this struggle for many years, from where, from, from where high school, in our music. Mm -hmm. See? I've been been to the good, I've been to the bad. Just remember this God alone can stop that wind ship from sailing. Yeah. No man. You know, flesh like me you can never do that. And you can't fool the fans, them. And you can't fool people. Because people know the real thing when they see. They no. can fool some people sometimes, but they can't fool all the people all the time. They can't fool me. Nah. Let's get into this one. This one was a big track. I'm going to talk about this on the other side. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> 